before we started, did you have any questions about anything? Nope. All right. Well, then I'll just be a you know same as usual. Be a minute or so while I'm looking for something yeah. to talk about. Okay. Right, and then yeah. did we go over monkey last time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we did. So yes, we did go over him. So now this is the follow up. Yeah, I, I don't really didn't know where we were teleporting to. Mm, okay, so um, first off, I would probably make sure you're paying attention to where you're teleporting to, all right, before you just teleport through, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. So that you're not just confused about it, right? Because like you know, here we have it on the have we do have it on the screen to where it's at. We can see you know if we can see like the direction in which she's facing when she places it. Um, obviously she's not placing it behind her; she's placing it in front of her, and we don't see it on the bottom. So you know, just awareness of where it's going, and then after we do go through. We accidentally run into the lamp. I was disoriented. Yeah, it's good that we got a picture. Let's see, do we. Okay, I probably would go in immediately on him. I mean, I'm going in pretty fast, though. So. Pretty good. Alright. Not too many problems there with the attack. Or the first point. Okay, so here, really no reason to back up fully just to jump in when we could alternatively just like be up front here on the corner, like tesling them, and then whenever we wanted to jump to do damage, we can just jump straight up, or we can just, you know, do a short jump or something of that sort instead of just sitting back, because then that's we're missing out on potential damage we could be doing. So it's just, you know, be in there and be shooting. No, don't just kind of chill. Also, I'd focus on the. Okay, guess, guess we 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 knew one of us gonna die, so that's fine. All right, so now we yeah, have good idea. Just dive in. I feel great. So I probably would have kept pushing. We kind of backed up a little bit, and then maybe that might let some people out. Though it looks like we're gonna get them all. All right. All right. This is a little far forwards. Yeah. <laughs> so we are very, very far forwards here because now, now we've left. Having it posi like you know being up here doesn't give us really any positional advantage, and then on top of that, now it's a f like we only have four people and two people over on a cart, so we probably want to make sure that we're sticking closer to cart because now we're just not going to have any team support. So this is way way too far forward. So right when we probably should just be back with our team near the cart if we want to, we, we can be setting up somewhere along like this high ground for when they like when when they push back in. But we definitely don't want to be this far up and then I would imagine this possibly could lead especially if we try to engage them right here this could lead, lead to a lost fight and just staggering ourselves yeah they are Reiner's definitely gonna die there okay. I'd imagine we're not gonna do a ton here I don't think we do anything yeah so you know we're just existing and then We lose the fight, so honestly, too far forwards, right? This is a really big thing there. Now we did pull it back because we got a nano blade off, but it's pretty much the only reason. Probably could have lost that had we, just because of our whole team pushing too far forwards, but. This will protect us. Okay, very nice. I think they were setting up on the high ground to start off. That's good. Oh. 
So there are a couple times where I'm noticing like we'll do like the where we've done this like just a couple instances where it's just kind of a little bit inefficient where we'll just kind of wait a little bit before doing things like we we did this we've done this a couple times while sitting on high grounds but here like we you know we have health we almost have primal we we have our jump right now and we're just we're kind of just chilling for a little bit and then finally we're jumping all right so we just we, we're kind of sitting in place and then by the time we go in where we end up going too far past him um so we just gotta watch going too far right that, that's one yeah. thing um i think you already know how to short jump right so just <coughs> going a little too far there and then on top of that we just were a little delayed with it um there probably want to be following the moira who we saw was very low um, though we don't seem to be looking around for her. Um, so, like, notice how we saw that she was low HP here, right, in purple. Right, we're shooting at her, we're shooting at her. She was, like, by the time she was fading away, she was, like, 30 HP there. Yeah, we, we don't look around for her at all here. We just go on the immediate on the Reinhardt. Now, it is good that we swapped our targets there. That's good. All right. Overall, pretty solid attack, right? We did cap with four minutes, so obviously not a ton wrong there if we cap that fast or with that much time. <laughs> Though, if this is a 14 minute game, I mean, imagine something goes wrong and. Man, I like that we're pre setting up the high grounds. This is something that we did talk about last time, so I like that we're implementing that. We're just gonna drop in on top of them from behind. Perfect. I like that we picked out the McCree there. Though, possibly here, instead of positioning your sleeves, whenever you're on monkey, you want to be hitting as many people as possible with your Tesla because you can be hitting multiple people at once, right? Like you can be hitting as ma up to six people at the exact same time with your tesla cannon right so you want to be lining them up to do so now look at our current positioning we currently can only pick either mccree or moira whereas if we were just to rotate a little bit to the side here well now we can shoot both of them at the exact same time right so just yeah. look for stuff like that where we're able to line more people up and then therefore do more damage whereas here we are we're only able to get the mccree right so maybe that results in more kills if we do it like that a okay, really good play though Okay, very nice. Alright, we do have to be careful this time though, because they are aware of where we're at currently. I think one of these times this McCree smokes me pretty hard. I, um... Like he was looking. Very good group damage. Okay, when we're dropping in on top of them, expect them to be turning around. So some things that we can do to avoid this are first off, we can look to do uh, bubble dancing where we can like try to go in and out. B play, instead of playing in the middle of our bubble, we play on the, on the sides of our bubble so that we can go in and out and try to dodge the flashbang. We can also leap here if we want to. We can just, um, you know, probably I would say we could probably leap and then maybe land on something like this and leap up here. And then now we dodged his flash bang and we can still shoot them and we have like the safety of a little bit of a mini high ground so I mean, you know different things that we can do here to just stop ourselves from getting flashed though so good good job getting out there we almost have a primal as well okay very nice all right, a little bit over aggressive. <laughs> it was just so tempting. Yeah. <laughs> she was one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just got to pay attention to your health bar because it's better to stay alive than to go in and die. Because now look at how that st they lose. That one over aggression leads to the fight being lost, right? So we just gotta be real careful about that. Make sure we're not engaging off of it. When we 
Here we do end up taking a bunch of damage again. Just kind of pay attention to our health bar because maybe instead of continuing to go in, we could go for a leap out as, as an option here. Besides that, try to get try to pin people into walls as we're going along here. So let's say let's take a look at this. So here we go on the Symmetra, she gets knocked out, we go at her again. So maybe when we're jumping at her, our objective could be to like boop her right side instead of out towards this open area, right? Whereas when we boop her over here, she just keeps backing up. When, whereas if we were to boop her this way, now we have more walls which, which we can get them into. So when we jump, we could jump, try to jump to the side of them and then boop that way, right? Just trying to pin them into walls as an option there. There's something about um, the way his arms swing, like you can aim them. I haven't fully figured it out yet, but... You aim like, them in the direction you're looking where it is, is where, where you aim them, right? So Isn't there something with his arms, like the left and right arm, like you can... No. Or not, does it matter? Uh, no, it doesn't, doesn't make a difference. Yeah, the left or right arm doesn't doesn't have any have any effect on on where what the, where they're going. You it's they go based off of where you hit place pace your crosshair. So let, let's see, let, look, or and of course in front, you know, in front of you. So here we we land here, we boop the, you know, we're, we're booping our, her forwards here. So she just goes. Notice how she goes that direction, right? She just goes for backwards, just because we're aiming that direction, right? We hit her, but this time it's diagonally to the right ish, right? And she goes flying that way, right? So you just see, like, how, how we're, they're going, they're gonna go in the rough direction in which we're aiming. So if we're trying to get them to go to the right here, we're going to want to land on this side of them and aim this way, right? And then that's how we get them to go to the right. Damn it. Enemies have it. Hmm. Yeah, very nice. Though maybe a little bit fast of a bubble drop. Um, here, when we're leaping at him, first off, I'd say we leap a little bit short on him. So just leaping maybe walking forwards a little bit more so that we have more space and then and then leaping or whatnot right we just get it get us to him so here we just kind of underestimate the distance in which we're or, uh yeah underestimate the distance in which we're gonna go and then therefore here we, we reach him too short right whereas preferably we'd be more on top of him because then he just rolls out of it and so just leaping too short on him is a big thing there because now he just gets to run away from us which, you know, we do get the kill, but now we're at 95 HP, so preferably we just be a little bit more health, have a little bit more health on that. Okay, not very nice. I kind of wanted to wait. I didn't... Okay, so that so that maybe we can be engaging sooner and be getting more value. Um, maybe instead of waiting for them to come down this choke, we can be positioning ourselves like up here and then dropping behind. And then when we need to get away, we can just either leap back to this high ground or we can leap back towards our team and get on the cart or something of that sort. That way we're actually participating and being in the fight more. Whereas here we just kind of sit around and chill. And then that means that we're not really doing anything during this time. So we want to make sure we're having an impact here. But we're not really. And we also do hard engage here, right? So there we talked about you know, hard dives or soft dives last time and the time before. So that was a hard dive in an instance where we couldn't go for the hard dive, right? Like the entire, we're diving into four people. No one's low. No one's out of position. We're, you know, we don't have primals. So we just here, we can't go for the hard dive. Yeah, we do. And then therefore we just end up taking a whole heck of a lot of damage. Whereas we could probably have just like jumped out here and placed a bubble and just tesla three people and then gotten a very similar amount of value right um out of it so we're just paying attention to the situation so far to be honest we're playing this the, this game very cleanly aside from three major mistakes that we've made so it's like you got to keep in mind that like big mistakes 
can lead to big, you know, big problems, right? Like some mistakes can be really, really big and lead to games being lost just off of one mistake, right? Um, so far, we've been honestly playing very, very smoothly and cleanly, and we haven't made a ton of mistakes but we've had three big ones being one the first overextension two uh, honestly all of them have been overextensions is what it was like all three of them were where first off we, you know we did it we overextended when we were on that high ground all the way over there right secondly we overextended and died in their spawn and lost that point and then thirdly we're overextending here and then therefore we're probably gonna that's our impact on losing this fight so um a lot of different three overextensions and then that's so far been our big big issue here but besides that, for the past 10 minutes, we have been playing the, the game pretty solidly. And I like the bubble to get your Ana out. That's a, that's a good idea. We're not going to do a ton against Monkey, especially like when he's being nanoed and primaled and pocketed by their whole team. Instead, we could probably be setting up something to block off, like the, focusing on these guys more, right? Like if we're drawing these guys, they're all these guys' attention. Now they can't support Monkey. Ana can't, he's not going to get heals. He's not going to, maybe, you know, maybe if we were on uh, them beforehand, that he wouldn't get nano or something of that sort, right? So just drawing attention away from, um, like to, towards ourselves can be, probably have a big impact here. Whereas here we're just shooting at Monkey and Teslaing him and it's not really doing a ton. Right, just because he gets pocketed through it. And then even now we're still doing it. Finally we go in aggressively, but we, we do end up hitting the lip there. So watch out for just hitting objects, right? Step Oh, so let's watch that one real quick. So here we do go in, though we do leap into like four people and a bunch of turrets on our own. So that's a little, maybe a little bit too far. Make sure we're paying attention to the situation. Now we might get pocketed out here, so we do end up getting pocketed out, but we just gotta be careful about a leap like that. All right, we do have primal, so this is the, I would imagine we're gonna get aggressive with that. We gotta pick. Alright, so let's look at a couple of things here. So first off, we get... Okay, first off, we get hit by the Shatter. Um, let's see, so we get here when we're trying to dodge the Shatter. Um, okay, we actually don't have Leap. Do we have Leap? No, the Shatter. Yeah, okay, so we do have Leap when they Shatter. And we do unfortunately don't have Bubbles. So Leaping is definitely something we could do here if we, if we know that it's coming. If we see it coming, we just make sure we're paying attention to, you know, when is he got have going to have his ultimate. Um, and then after that, we do get Shattered. And then let's see what, what else we do. So we're trying to hide from the High Noon here. And then they get three people. Honestly, at this point, this is looking... Pretty lost. I would probably say the primling here wouldn't be a super great idea when we could just group up and then go in with the primal to stall out point. Because here we go in with the primal, we're probably not going to secure many kills. We're, we're just going to end up staggering ourselves longer and our, probably the, our other teammates who are staying with us longer. Okay, so we get one kill and then we die, right? So probably not a great primal timing. Because notice how like we still have time okay and then we still have people staggering on points so we still had a good like 15 seconds before they cap points like let's look back towards like here when we started primaling um cart still had that far to go that's that's a good 10 15 seconds especially if people are stalling it out so we can probably just let them kill us there and then come back as a full team so that's paying attention to when the fight's won or lost right that's been something we've talked about before right paying attention to kill feed and watching for when we're winning or losing there we just ended up using an ultimate in a lost fight in which case we probably should have just waited till we were you know grouped up to use our ultimate are we going to engage here? Oh, we probably also shouldn't be engaging right now because we're trying to wait for our teammates to group up a little bit more, right? We do have another five seconds before we have to touch. So, you know, for example, like our Genji who just died, we might want to give him kind of a maximum amount of time to get back and for our Reinhardt to get in position and whatnot. Whereas here we just go in immediately. And then on top of that, when we do go in, we, we do a hard dive, right? Where we just go straight in on point. Whereas if, you know, if the point's right here, we can maybe just do, you know, walk in towards it. So too early, don't rush it 
don't feel panicked into touching here, whereas we, we keep kind of going in to touch. Now, for some reason, their entire team backed up there. Right, like, we, dive, we dove in and then they kind of just backed, which if they pushed you, they probably could have killed you. Interesting. All right. Nice dive up top. That's probably a good idea. Nice cleave damage. Oh. Very nice. Woo. Primaling, um, I don't know, like, if it was great last time, but at the very least, maybe some of the primal timings haven't been good, but it, definitely the juggling has been, has been pretty great. So, like, we, we had one primal where we used it when we were, like, super overextended in their spawn, and then we had the next primal that was used in a, you know, in a lost fight. But besides that, all of our primals so far have been, mm, like, really good juggling. Where we've And also, we want to just make sure pinning people in the walls and whatnot, but besides that, just the, the, the juggling aspect has been looking really solid. Okay, I like the target priority there. We swap over to the Moira. I'm about to just super low there. Okay, probably be, I'd be probably setting up like top left right now. Just remembering to do that each fight. Right, we, we, for the most part, have been good with it, but probably just be a good place to start from. Because, you know, what's the alternative? Because here, you know, we've, we've just been... And then this is another thing that we've seen a couple times, right? Which is just actions per minute. Um, have we talked on actions per minute at all before? Mm, probably sort, yeah. Probably, just yeah. be doing something. Be doing stuff, right? Whereas here, you know, notice we're not doing stuff, and then now... Because we're not doing stuff, we're already down a player, right? We're, we're, we're not having an impact, whereas if we're setting up top left, well, now we could have engaged when they're all the way back here and then just leapt back up to the high ground and been safe, right? Where we could be getting ult charge, creating space, doing things, right? Whereas here, we're just not really doing very much. I just, just saw that Reaper up there, and I was like, I don't know if it's a good idea for me to, like, go. Okay, so, but I don't know. You know, first off, you know, we, we had this entire in-between fights, right? Like, we could have been on yeah. that, this high ground since right here, right? Yeah, and then yeah. five seconds, you know... And then 10 seconds later, and, you know, now Reaper's up on the high ground, right? But he wasn't up there to start off. Secondly, um, just because, re like, it doesn't, the high ground isn't the only thing that's going to allow us to engage here. We could also just, you know, walk forwards and shoot at them, Tesla them from in here or something of like that sort. We can just jump up and Tesla Reaper, maybe get him to back down and then drop back down to our team if needed. Right? Like we don't have to hard engage him in this case. It's just doing something with our time. Right, instead of just sitting here, because then we just kind of sit here, and then we keep backing, and we keep backing, and then we keep backing, and we just kind of sit here, and you know, so far we haven't we haven't done anything. Okay, so we finally go in, right? And now we're now we're tesling a little bit, but that was like you know, 15, 10 seconds, fifteen <laughs> seconds into the fight, right? Yeah. And then we're and then we sit back a little bit, and we're still waiting, we're still sitting. Wait for my bubble to come back. Yeah. Oh, leaping out faster there, right? Just watching, listening, and watching for being aware of our surroundings and aware of our health bar, because there, you know, we get shot. We're 115 HP, right? We could be jump, we could be turning and jumping right now, but we have a little bit of a delay, and then boom, we're dead. So just getting off sooner there. All right. Overall, um, would you say that this was a Above average, normal, or average game for you? Like, for me, I thought, like, I had a good primal, like, but I felt, I felt like I was engaging more, like I was trying not to, like, just sit there and not do anything, but some points in the fight, like, I just wasn't sure what I should do. Okay. And, but, like, all in all, I think it was... I think I played this game better than like my previous games. Okay. So I would probably agree with you here. This game did seem very, very solid for the current rank that you're at. And honestly, like if this was to be the continuation of like how all of your games, like that's why I asked, it was like, okay, would you say that this is 
above average or or what right like because if this is just a really good game then it's just a really good game but if, if you if this is to continue on i would definitely see um climbing and ranked happening soon and then therefore they are going to come up against harder opponents and then therefore you're going to be making more mistakes up against those harder opponents but for the current level in which you're at honestly there wasn't a ton right because you're actually doing very solid for currently your current platinum level now when you go up to diamonds diamond players are going to be able to punish more mistakes that you're making so then those mistakes become much more apparent within your gameplay so far within this game we have three major overextensions two ultimates that were used in like you know not so great timings and then besides that you know struggling was good with them um, for the most part, ability usage was, was pretty great with some, you know, sometimes we ran into things with our jump. Um, Tesla'ing was fine. No issue with, like, mechanics. Um, besides that, we... Let's see what else. Um, awareness had a couple instances where we could have been more aware of our surroundings, like just paying attention to the kill feed and paying attention to what's happening around us and paying attention to our health bar. Um, and then positioning, you know, there are a couple times where we, you know, like there where we didn't take high ground or be positioned way too far forwards and overextended. So there was just a little bit of bits of here and there, but overall really solid gameplay because like, you know, we capped the, and that was, you know, be, that was shown in the results of, you know, capping with four minutes and then full holding them on second point, right? That, that's, that's pretty much a roll of a game if there's any. Um, so it, overall, I would just say, well played. You're I've, obviously I'm seeing a lot of improvement here. Definitely things that we've talked about that I'm seeing improvement on. And just keep playing because then you're going to start to climb an SR. And then at that point, once you have climbed in, uh, like before, just as a recommendation, maybe before you come back for another session, is wait until you feel like you've hit more of a plateau where you're no longer climbing and you're just kind of you can't improve anymore because at that point now then we'll be able to start going over things again because if you're not really making a ton of mistakes because you're not being because you need to climb still then coaching is not going to be of a ton of value right you want to get up to higher rank and then and then come back so in any case um do, do you have another code you'd like to go for here yeah here's one right here i honestly don't know what game this is i think i was playing winston in it let's see okay Traveling to Morskaya Industries. Ready for... Ready for battle. Mm, no, because the other Winstons are taken. We're on Zarya. Do you want this game still? No. No? Okay. What did I say? Oh, uh, were we on? No. Yeah. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm surprised I wasn't playing monkey. Somebody oh, must have got it. Yeah, someone else took monkey. We are monkey for the last point here, it looks like. But I don't know if that's any interest of you. It looks like it. We do cap it pretty fast. It, this is a... Oh, this is an absolute roll of a game. My goodness. How did even... Okay. This is one way long. I'm trying to find losses that yeah, I have. Yeah, this one, this one you guys you guys roll them. Six, you kept six minutes and you full held them on second. <laughs> Look at that one and see. All right. I think maybe that. Victory. Now traveling to I hate this map. <laughs> Ready for battle. All right. I'm okay. Here so we, we are we are a monkey here. So yep, we're good to go for this one, yeah. Yep, yep. All right. So we do see the widow. Looks like we're setting up to go on her. Yeah, it looks like we're just not too sure what we're doing here. We're not like sure what we're trying to accomplish and we're just kind of sitting around again. So first off, let's look through this a little bit. So first off here, um, thinking, thinking, thinking. So maybe w wait a moment till an opportunity arises instead of just leaping in. So here, for example, we're waiting for, you know, we're, we're waiting for them to get closer, right? Maybe we can Tesla these guys when they do get closer. But we're trying to ultimately, I think we're trying to go for the the uh, Widowmaker in the back line, right? And the, and the Mercy. So we're trying to go on them. One thing I would wait for them to do is for wait for Widowmaker to grapple up to the high ground or something of that sort before we're leaping, right? That way she doesn't have her grapple. On top of that, we do a 300 HP still and we do kind of just chill here for a really long time or we just kind of sit. Whereas we probably could have dropped on them and started doing some stuff. 
And then we, if you want, if you're if we're here, we are waiting for healing. Make sure you're requesting healing because we do just kind of sit here, right? If we are waiting on healing, request healing. That way you get healing fast. So it'll give your in, your supports an in-game audio cue. Besides that, if we are aren't waiting on healing, we should probably be dropping on the Widowmaker, right? And then here Widowmaker grapples off right next to us. We weren't really aware of her, and then we leap out. So overall, it's just a little bit of a weird play where we just kind of sat around. The, you know, we want to make sure we're doing stuff. We're not just existing. Oh, did we mess that one up? I think, yeah, the ones in a while we mess up our jumps. Like, here it looks like we're trying to leap up, but then we... What happened there? We just l looked down too fast, I think. So we look up, and then we look down too fast. So that, I think that was the issue, unless you're trying to aim down here. But I think we were trying to go up from the flick up. And then we leap out. So overall, just haven't accomplished much, much right? Like, we just kind of sat around, noticed so far. We just look, took a look around. Our ult charge is currently at 24. If we look at the board, we are currently the lowest ult charge, right? With the highest person in, so far in the game being at 90. The Widowmaker's at 90 and we're at 24, right? So we have done pretty much absolutely not, nothing so far this fight. Whereas we could have just been on things, shooting at things, but we kind of just sat around instead, right? Finally got, you know, went in and started doing stuff. And as a result, we got one, almost two kills. Good job making it out. Just barely. Yeah, right now we're just waiting for our team to group up. Maybe taking, you know, using this time. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'd use this time to, like, wrap around and go somewhere, like, over here. Right, this would get us closer and maybe get, you know, if, if we have to run through this angle, right, Widowmaker and, and Ash are just going to shoot us this entire time we're trying to walk through, right? Like, our objective right now, right, like, if we're thinking about who are we going on, who are we diving, obviously we can't dive t the tanks, right? They're not going to die to us. Lucio would be a very difficult target to dive, right? So we're coming up with this target priority in our head of who should we be focusing, you know? That's not why I have such a hard time with this map, because, like, you can't jump Widow like from all the way back there and then their tanks are right here and it's just like a big yeah, funnel so it's, you it's, know? A, it's a it's a, basically it's it's understanding the map and how to play accordingly so let, we'll talk about this in a moment right we're first off let's come up with a target priority in our head right where we obviously can't go for the tanks because tanks aren't diveable targets and maybe we've also talked about that in the past i think maybe where we talked about don't want to shoot at tanks lucio then, therefore, out of the la other four, be the set the you know the hardest to kill out of those guys. Just very difficult. You know, if we go for Widow or Ash, Mercy Mercy will probably be on both of them. So, therefore, Mercy probably becomes the number one target, right? Because otherwise, the snipers are just gonna get pocketed through us diving them, unless we have our Genji with us or something like that, right? Then, besides that probably say Widowmaker would be number two and then Ash would be number three, right? Just because Ash has a little bit more sustain, Widow has less HP, Ash has her coach gun to boop you away with. So overall, probably say that it goes Mercy, Widow, Ash, Lucio, Diva, Roadhog, right? That's just the rough priority for this game of who we're going on. It'll be dependent on the, upon the situation. Now, obviously, like we just discussed, we cannot leap from here to get on Widow. We can't leap from here to get on Ash. And also on top of that, that's just going to put, if we did try, we have just get, we just die, right? So let's think through how we'd be able to get over there. Well, we just had a, a good like 10 seconds while we were waiting for our team. Maybe we could have used that time to run around this way. Well, now once we get down here, right, they're probably, people aren't really looking down here for the most part, right? like if we look at them, who would have line of sight on us, right? Though only two people, and both of them aren't looking towards us. You know, we do a little bit of a wrap around. We get to here by this point. Our team's ready, right? They're ready at choke, right? Now, now we can walk on. You know, we can cross point real quick. They're gonna be confused about who's on point. We can walk through here, and then we can leap on high ground, or we can leap to here. Or if we wanted to, we can just go to point bait them the point and then go from there right like this is also an effective strategy this would pull them away from the choke point which would let your team come through right we talked we've discussed this but your job as a tank is to create space right well what is mm -hmm. one of the best ways to create space you know what what is creating space creating space is getting them to look at you overlooking at your team right 
if we can go to point here and just and they're now distracted with the point and they all looked away, away from the choke point well now your team just have has free space to move in and therefore you've gotten a lot of value so we can maybe even do a mix of this where we come in we touch point bait them the point and then dive widow or bait them the point and then dive somebody else right overall don't set a choke right worst thing to be doing at the moment Okay, so now we do start rotating around, but it's kind of slow. We're not really, we're not really sure what we're to be doing. You don't need your team to come with you when you're going over here. Like they don't realistically need to be with you. They can be with you, but you know that's not a necessity here. And then we're just kind of chilling. And in this time, we've lost another player. And then, you know, now we're waiting on our Genji still. I think I was waiting on my team to come with me, but yep, I would say probably don't you you don't need them with you to be honest, right? The, like you can like you you're gonna have enough self sustain on your own because there's you can just leap away from people. Like your objective here, of course, isn't to duel six people. Your objective is to bait them to point and then leap away. Particularly if you can leap away to the widowmaker, then that works too. Or if you, for for example, like you can go this way and leap on the widow. Or if you bait them to point and you're over here, well now you can just leap main to get back to your team whenever you're in danger, right? So multiple different options here, right? <laughs> Now here we're just sh stuck shooting at their tanks, so we need to be acquiring a target here, whereas we just kind of come in and we're shooting at their tanks, which is an issue. So first off, we see... We don't really see other people because we're not looking around here, so we see Mercy. Okay, so now we finally have acquired our target. So we see her back there, and we saw Ash, who just dynamited us from the right side. But by the time we've acquired these targets, we're already low HP, or we're getting low and burning. Yeah, we see the Mercy, and then we decide to drop back on the Roadhog. So overall here, just on the wrong... Okay, finally we're on the Lucio, but we have to reload. And we're on the Ash, okay. It just took us way too long to find that target, right? It's like 10, 15 seconds into the fight is by the time we're actually getting on something we want to be on, right? Yeah. Okay. Mercy's pocketing Lucio. We can see her beam, right? We can we can see her beam, and we can also hear her and see her awareness, paying attention to our environment, looking around, listening. Because here we can turn. We don't want to be, you know, trying to shoot Lucio, who has self healing and speed and can run around very easily. Versus when we can focus Mercy, who'd be the easiest target on their team to kill. Um, while she doesn't have any self healing while she's being shot at, and it's also very easy for her to beam, he like solo heal Lucio away and pocket him. And then we swap to the Roadhog, which is fine. Honestly, honestly, there, that was actually a good play because I didn't notice our Mercy resing. So, our Mercy reses, we boop Roadhog away. That's a good idea. I'm trying to boop him off, too. Oh, I messed up with the juggling there a little. All right, and then we're all over the place. Okay, so let's look back at this fight. So, this game is looking a lot more chaotic so this could <laughs> could be due to the map you not liking the map but i mean it also just i like, just oh, don't know how to play on it like it's i'm so confused like when i play this yeah i don't I know mean, why it's yeah just... i i mean i'm not sure particularly why either i mean it's you, you play here the same way you'd play any other map like notice here like this this mistake we we're about to make isn't something we've seen so far in, in the other game that we've made so look notice we're going to take a look at our target priority here and how it is ever shifting and never on one thing so we're going to come in we're going to put on two times speed and we're just going to say what we're shooting at diva now we're in hog now we're on Hog's Tale, and we're now on Diva, now we're on Lucio, now we're on the Ash, right? Now we're back on the Lucio, and then we swap from the Lucio to the Hog, and then we're gonna go swap from the Hog back to the to the Mercy, and then we're going over to, oh, there, that got a little bit fast, right? It got a little hard to see, but we, we're going for the Lucio, and then we look away, and now we're going back, back for the Mercy, right? And then now we swap to the Hog, right? And then now we're swapping back to the Lucio, and then now we're, you know, now we swap back to the Hog, and then now we're swapping, you know, so, we just swap between like 20 different things, right? In, in the course of a fight. Yeah. Focus on something, right? This isn't a mistake that has anything to do with the map, right? And uh, now that I will, I would say that the mistake of not, you know, of not knowing what to do when you're stuck at choke did have to do with the map. That one had to do with the map, but you know, this one in particular doesn't. So in any case, stick with one thing, 
right? You're, or not, it doesn't have to necessarily be one thing, right? But you swap targets when it's needed. You swap targets when you find a better target. So it's a, you know, higher priority target, such as like, you know, you're swapping from a hog to a mercy, who would be much, much, you know, easier to kill. Mercy is probably like six times easier to kill than a hog, right? So swapping from a hog to mercy is fine. Or if you're swapping to somebody who's low HP or someone who's out of position or somebody who, you, you know, your team is focusing or something like that, right? Those are situations where we swap targets. We don't swap targets, you know, 20 times in a fight for no reason, right? We want to stay on top of things so that we can actually whittle them down and, and kill them. If we're constantly swapping, all we're doing is doing like 20, you know, we're, we're doing maybe like 50 like tickle damage, and then we're swapping, and then they can just heal it up, right? Whereas if we combined that 50 tickle damage on 20 different things, right, that's like 20 times 50, that's a, uh, that's a lot. Wait, wait, math, computer, or get my calculator out real quick. That's a thousand damage. <laughs> but that's, that's, so, I mean, like, you know, we, we put that all in one thing you can see how there's a very big difference between 50 and a thousand damage right and you are going to be able to actually whittle something down if you're putting that all into one thing so we're just on way too many things this fight not gonna lie that's one of the more fun fun uh mistakes to see in people because <laughs> then you get to go you get to go through it and just call it the different names <laughs> All right, so right now we're, you know, we're looking for people. This is good. We're, we're hunting them down. Good idea. Okay, so we're on the, so let's, let's look through the list a little bit. So first off, noticing the, the Ash here. She is already a little bit low and she is out of position. So I would maybe say we could go on Ash here pretty easily. So, you know, that, that is an option at the moment. Now we decide to go for the Widow. When we do go for the widow, um, hmm. yeah, not not really a bunch I'd say there. You know. I think we executed that fine. Good dodge of the hook. Okay, finally whittle something down, that's good. Though we do overstay our welcome a little bit, so let's take one more look at that. Alright, so we finally do. And we'll leap we leap in here. Yeah, I just me the only issue there is like we're we're continuing to stay in here when we don't have like look at this. We we just want to be aware of our surroundings, but we leap in when we don't have bubble, when it's just us and mercy versus one, two, three, four, five. So it's basically a two v five at the moment, right? Um, whereas over here, it's, you know, we, we have point. Let's say we just back up and group up and regroup. Well, now we're only down one person and we have point advantage and we can just stall out point and we, while we're maybe looking for an opportunity. Whereas here we just hard get, ag we get aggressive, we hard go in and we're not paying attention to our environment. And then therefore, yes, we get a kill, but then me Mercy dies and then we die in a moment. And then therefore, even though we got a kill, it doesn't really do anything because we lose the fight immediately afterwards. So we just want to pay attention to what's going on around us. I think one time, and you can tell me if, if this seems right, but does it seem like in the games that you see me play, does it seem like I like try to do like too much? I feel like I try to that, do too that much. That fight. Not not necessarily in other ones. I'd probably say, especially in the first game, we, we, we did really good. You know, the, the, this fight, though, definitely we, we tried to do too much where we were just like, you know, we, we went in and aggressed too hard, right? Um, here, be using this time to, you know, we're, we're, we can imagine our heads, right, without even having to see, right, we can be sitting in spawn over here and think to ourselves, where is it likely for their snipers to be setting up? Are they going to be where our mercy's at? You know, no. on point, no. maybe on point. Are they going to be behind point? I probably say it's likely that they're either on point or behind point, right? Which at the moment we're seeing on point, you know, and then Ash is, you know, on the on the side of point. So, you know, we can be thinking this and going, okay, well, same exact thing as last time. If we're just trying to come in from this frontal angle and we're trying to approach from here, we're just going to get stunned. And, and this is just a point in general. Whenever possible, don't come from the front. Whenever possible, right? This is just part of how positioning on a dive character works is... You don't want to come to the, from the front if possible, because if you come from the front, right, they have ton of time to see you and shoot at you and stun you, and 
then on top of that, you don't have a surprise advantage. So they have much more additional time to see you coming. They're going to stun you easier. They're going to shoot at you. You're going to be taking, you know, half of your health's worth of damage before you even reach them. Whereas if you're coming from a side angle, now they don't know that you're here because they're not looking at you. You therefore get a surprise advantage, and you can get on them much easier. And on top of that, it's just this is going to be closer to them than over here, which would allow us to leap to them, to them faster. So use this time to reposition, go to the left, I'd probably say it would be a really good idea instead of just sitting here main. Good job, we, you know. I, uh, good job not engaging with your without your team, though. Heroes never die. Go to the mercy first. She's just gonna get pocketed, right? So we're on the wrong target there. Okay, now now you don't focus mercy since she's. Oh, okay, that's unfortunate, man. All right, we made it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just use a lot of ults there. Like we we use they used one, two, three, four, five ults. We used three, so yep, that that's just an ult diff to be honest. Unfortunate. They, yeah, they just had used two more ults, and then also got more value out of them. Monkey canceled your ult, so you weren't able to do anything. Come in from the frontal angle, taking over half our da half our health's worth of damage before we even reach them, right? So we, ju so we jump in here, 200 HP before we even get to them, right? Hard diving into the middle of, you know, without an advantage, into the middle of three, four people, right? Watch the hard dive. So here we just, we, we're, we're making these fundamental mistakes that we know that we shouldn't be making, right? We've discussed these, we, we did this, you know, did we, you seem to be for the most part really fine with them in the, in the last game you're in but then it's just all kind of falling apart here okay very nice go on the mercy you weren't super in danger there of dying. You know, you were very far away from the hog. So I'd probably say that bubble got largely wasted because it didn't really save us from much damage. And then we could have used it when we left into them like almost immediately. Because now we could have used it in this instance where we're just getting melted by them. All right, it's a little bit of a wasted bubble there. But overall, that's the end of the game. So, um, you know, a lot, of, lot, more, lot more stuff there. A lot more big mistakes. Um, so I guess let's just, you know, do... You know, make go over the main points, do a quick review, and then wrap it up from there. So let's think through this because we never did strengths and weaknesses. Um, so let me let me think. Um, ability usage overall that was fine, or like it was you know with some mistakes, but overall fine. Um, ultimate usage again, it's like it was we, we had more that was over ability usage. Just thinking through it to myself real quick. Mechanics is in a thing on monkey. Um, then we have awareness and aggression, and then we have positioning, mm. thinking, thinking, mm. thinking. And then overextension was a big one, which I'm trying to think where I put that. I guess that goes yeah. into aggression. Mm. That, that, would, that would go into aggression. So let's think of this. So I'd probably say the number one thing came in at a uh, awareness slash uh, aggression thing, right? That, that's number one. Right on monkey, right? Be paying attention to what's going on around us, and then address, uh, adjusting our aggression accordingly. Making sure we're not just going straight into their entire team. Remembering soft diving versus hard diving. Right, we're soft diving when we, you know, we're just kind of dropping in on them, and then we're just shooting them. Unless we have an opportunity to do hard dives, right? When we have our whole team going in with us, when we have when primal, when they're low, when they're out of position, right? When it's just one person, right? Really just waiting for better opportunities and not going in when we can't. Um, besides that, let's see, what else is there? Paying attention to our health bar, where, you know, sometimes we just weren't paying attention to our health bar. Make sure we're disengaging when we're low. Um, and then we are engaging when we have health, right? Um, making sure they are paying attention to the kill feed and who's winning or losing the fight. Paying attention to where our team is and the enemy team is. Um, making sure we're just listening to audio cues and whatnot, right? Like, just a lot of the basic, you know, here and there things. Um, and then we had a, three big overextensions in the, in their first game, especially, that 
kind of didn't go great for us. Right. On top of that, why don't we just put in here on aggression, just actions per minute, since we don't we don't have a mechanics category, so we'll put it in there. It's just actions per minute. Make sure you're actually doing things, because you know sometimes we'd go too over over aggressive, but we would just like go straight into their back line. But then other times we just kind of sit around for 10, 20, 15 seconds, right, where we just wouldn't do anything at all. So make sure we're actually trying to do things, right, instead of just sitting around doing nothing, right. Um, on top of that probably number two would be let's see number two would be positioning i think right where you making sure we're coming in from the side angles make sure we're rotating in between fights maybe we're taking high grounds between fights make sure we're you know we're using cover and high grounds um so yeah that, that's like it's overall it's just a lot of the basics there number three is going to come in with ultimate usage make sure we're not using ult in one or lost fights making sure we're um just uh, we're actually getting people people in the walls and whatnot juggling was very good though um make sure that we are let's see what else is there um actually you know what i am gonna make a mechanics category Mon monkey doesn't usually take mechanics but we had another enough things that kind of fit into there so i'm gonna fit a couple of things in the mechanics let's see where's mechanics gonna go mechanics we'll put mechanics Right underneath ultimate usage, I think. Um, these are all honestly really close. The the big one was the first one. Then the next three are honestly very very close together. So positioning, ultimate usage, and mechanics are very very close. But in mechanics, we're putting actions per minute, making sure we're shooting things. We're also putting target priority, making sure for, uh, first off we're not shooting tanks. But then we're also coming up with a, an additional priority over that to where we're going. You know, in the last game we probably wanted to go mercy first, then widow, then ash, then lucio, then tanks. Whereas we a lot of times we're just kind of off with that. And then thirdly, making sure we're not going on. You know. 20 different people in a fight, but we're kind of focusing on one part, like one particular person, and we're only swapping if needed, right? So all those things add up um, to it deserving its own category, right? But overall, I'd probably say it still comes in at number four, though just very, very slightly. It's very cl closely tied for the like number two slot, right? Um, Let's see, what else is there? Um, then we finally have Ability Usage, which Ability Usage has honest, honestly looked really good. Here's just a couple tiny things in there, like we would accidentally leap into an object, or we would um, bubble when it wasn't necessary, right? And just the tiny things here and there. But overall, Ability Usage is fine. So th that is the, you know, most of what what everything was, right? That was the uh, main points. Do you have any questions about anything that we've talked about? Just from, like, my previous games to, like, I know that the to the uh, King of the Hill map was rough, but like, I mean, do do you see where I've improved a little bit? Like, can yeah. tell that. So I I definitely I think things if I'm just because again poor, uh, uh, excuse my poor memory here because I can't remember everything we've talked about, but I, I sp in past sessions I remember us talking about repositioning the high grounds in between fights, which we did. Um, I remember us. Let's see what other things we talked about. I think you worked on your juggling as well, maybe because I think mm -hmm. juggling definitely seemed more solid than previously. Um, whereas I think especially we jump, what was it? we jumped less, right? You you're, you're like you didn't jump very often in your primal, and we uh, we seem to be jumping more often, um, and keeping up with people. Um, besides that, let's see what else was there. I think I think overall just ability usage is lo looked pretty solid. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's I definitely see the improvement there, especially if we're talking about the first game. Um, but I think we really saw like the, the difference there, and then you see that you see how that's inconsistent. It's just inconsistency where we want to make sure that the first game is happening in most of our games, not just it being the exception, right? Yeah. And then even within our first game, we still had some of the big mistakes that we made, right? So we want to yeah. make sure we're doing that. Um, you know, you people go in the direction in which we're looking, right? Um, when we're jumping through here, we're trying to boop them off. Oh, never mind. He's not coming in time. Never mind. I accidentally booped him off. But in any case, that that is pretty much it. So, any other questions? Uh, none that I can think of. All right, man. So, let me stop the recording there.